Hi, this is Valerie. Welcome back to the Motopress YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be examining Appointment Booking 1.11. You'll learn how to work with coupons and allow your clients to book services at a discount. If your clients are outside of your local time zone, then you'll want to watch this video too. Moreover, I'm going to present to you a new interface for the backend calendar. But before we dive into reviewing all the enhancements available with the update, remember to subscribe to our channel and tap that notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. And we already have lots of useful tutorials in the playlist dedicated to the appointment booking plugin. The link to it will be in the description box down below. So, ready? If so, we're beginning. Saving clients always look for coupon code deals. Even customers who can't afford the prices will always want to find ways to spend as little as possible. Now I'm going to show you how to add a new coupon for your clients to use at checkout. For the coupon code field to appear at checkout, go to the Appointments menu Click Settings. Under the General tab, find Allow Coupons. Tick the box that says Enable the use of coupons and save the changes. Then go to the Coupons submenu. This is where you can create any number of discount uh, coupons with custom names and settings. By clicking Add New, we're going to fill out these fields. First, I want to give the coupon an appropriate title. Then, you're free to add a description to keep records on this coupon. But no, it's not public, only you can see it. After that, I'm going to set a coupon type. It can be fixed for value of coupons or percentage for percent of offers. And then decide when clients are no longer able to use the code. I mean select an expiration date for this coupon. If needed, choose individual services you want to provide a discount with. It depends on your promotion campaign rules. If none is chosen, the code will work for all services. Mean and max dates are set if you want uh, the service to be booked uh, during the exact period of time. And using the usage limit field, uh, you can enter the number of times your clients can use the coupon. Usage count is not customizable. It is meant to show how many times the coupon was used, so that admin can always stay informed. Click to publish, and we're done. After you've created the coupon, the coupon code field will appear at checkout if payment options are enabled or on the Details Submission page if your client submit a booking without payment. Clients can enter coupon codes by clicking Apply. If a client uses a coupon for a percentage discount, like I'm doing now, Appointment Booking calculates the discount based on the total cost of the service or services. If you accept bookings in person, over the phone or through other channels, and add bookings uh, on the back end by hand via the bookings menu, you'll also notice the new coupon field in the booking price section. From the drop down list, choose the coupon you want to apply. The booking price will be recalculated automatically. You can apply a coupon to an existing appointment too. But note, 
If you apply a coupon to a service the client has already paid for, appointment booking won't show how much extra they've paid and doesn't automatically issue a refund, so it's not possible to process refunds in appointment booking. Instead, process them through your payment processor. Furthermore, you can edit the existing coupon by going to the coupon submenu and clicking Edit. But please keep in mind, editing a coupon's value changes the discount only on future appointments. Deleting a coupon does not remove the discount from all the appointments on which it has been uh, used. To discontinue a coupon without affecting already booked appointments, move the coupon to trash or edit the coupon to expire. Now I guess that's all I wanted to tell you about the coupons. With the new Show Local Time feature, appointment booking will automatically convert appointment times into the customer's time zone. When choosing a date and time from the booking visit calendar, your clients will see available times converted into their local time zone. The plugin detects your client's time zone based on the location settings on the device which was used to book. Your backend booking calendar is the place to monitor the and control what's happening in your business. You may still find yourself getting a little overwhelmed um, scanning and reviewing everything each day, especially if you have many services and staff members. Calendar filters can help you uh, stay on top of things, but not only filters. Since version 1.11, appointment booking gives your services different colors to tell them apart. Before the update, they were all the same color. From now on, your calendar will automatically color code each service with its own color. With this improvement, it will be easier for you to track and identify all events. Now the calendar looks nice and neat and well-organized. Moreover, the color choices can be customized. To select another color for the service, navigate to Appointments, Services, select the service, scroll down, in the service settings meta box, we see a new field with a color palette. With its help, you can pick a color that you like uh, for this particular service. Mm, just look at this palette. Soft pastel tones, all colors go well together, and you can select more colors. Here, you can choose a color from the color picker or enter the exact color value in the text field. And uh, after that, don't forget to save changes. To wrap things up, we hope this tutorial was informative for you, and after watching it, you can easily create discount coupon codes and attract new customers, generate leads, and increase customer engagement. Now you know that appointment booking shows time based on the time zone of the user who's scheduling the flow. So the plugin correctly adjusts appointment times. What's more, now you can enjoy a visually appealing calendar in your dashboard and assign different colors to the individual services. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Do check out the show notes down below for some timestamps and useful links. Join us on social media. It's a great way to stay up to date with the news from Motopress. You'll find information about upcoming promotions and releases, get expert tips and tricks for working with our products, and more. And once you're there, don't forget to like our posts 
retweet our tweets, provide comments, and share content. This will help our social media network grow. A spoiler alert for the next video. Next time, I'll introduce you to our new appointment booking WooCommerce payments add-on. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one.